Oh. Fan of the Hauraki Big Show podcast? Make sure you check out more from Jay, Mike and Keezy on their Instagram at Hauraki Big Show or tune in to them 4 to 7 every weekday on Radio Hauraki. Thanks, mate. Thanks, mate. G'day, fellas. Hey, Jace. Yeah, G- g'day, mate. G'day, Pugstan. It's me, Mogi. <laughs> Oh, that's so spot on, Pug Sun, Thanks, man. man. Yeah, exactly. I was working on that over the weekend, actually. Is he that deep? I don't know if he's that deep. Oh, I think he is. I think he's quite deep. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It depends if, it depends if he's, be, if he's hey, been on hey. the uh, durries or not. Yeah, that's true. wonder if he had some durries with his mate the other day. Definitely. What, what do you watching reckon? the Warriors, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it was inevitable. It was going to happen. If I yeah, was yeah. I can also tell when you guys are going to have durries because... You jokingly go, oh, probably have some durries. And it's like, well, that's it locked in then. You're going to have some. Yeah. It's like we're going away this weekend, probably have some durries. Which makes me think about, and I won't say what, but what my Mogi said about that trip that we're going on down the track. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. the and magic round. Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, we've announced that now. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Um, but what he said about, oh, joking about going and doing that. And so now I'm like, oh, yeah, is that. It's terrible how he does that, eh? Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's a shocker. Yeah, and it's just. I know him what too. you fellas yeah. are saying. You know what I mean? Yeah. He goes, "Oh, we'll have a few. Oh, will you, Mogi? Have a few durries. <laughs> Good on you, mate. Because you don't do that, eh? No, no, not at all. I mean, if I'm going to have a durry, I'll just have a durry. Yeah. Um. Shut up and get on with it. Well, exactly. I mean, mm. people don't know about that. I tell you what. Actually, at the moment, we're watching the cricket, and she's shaping up to be an absolute classic test match with thirty odd to get, three wickets to get. At this stage, I'm favouring Australia. Who are you favouring, Pugsan? Yeah. Aussie. For sure. Keezy? Well, I'm definitely favouring Aussie because they've got the bat. And they've still got, like, who's in at the moment? Carey Cummins, Lion to come. He's pretty decent. It's one of those scenarios where another wicket now and every run becomes very, very tense. I love that, right? That That is the beauty of Test cricket, and it only happens sometimes, is... A week's worth of play can come down to the final few overs. That's what's making. I went to school with that guy. Oh, was, oh, I'm doing another replay. I went to school with that guy. Who was it? Oh, Sears. Yeah. Yeah, he's from Welly, eh? Yeah. How old is he? Like your age, 28? No, he's younger. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, he just came in. I think he's got four wickets today. Yes. He just looks like a psycho after he gets a wicket, though, which well, is I good like, to see. I like the fact that he gets pumped up because there's nothing worse than a fast bowler who's a nice guy. Well, that's why Waggers is so good, right? Yes, exactly. You want someone to get... You know, vicious. Raged. How was everyone's weekend? Really good, thanks. Oh, yeah, you went to Welly, went didn't to you, Went home to Welly. How yeah. was the festy with your sister? That was really fun. My best friend ended up uh, buying a ticket as well. Oh, great. So he came along. There was a little group of us there, and it was all very yummy, boys. Festy? Is yeah. It, is that what you call it, a festy? Yeah, festival. Sounds like a sexual disease. Testy. No, so a is no, pretty fest- standard. Festering. Oh, is it? Festy? Yeah. yeah. I'd never call a festival a festy. Yeah, but you, yeah. It's a festy. You're sort of more used to Renaissance fairs, eh? Well, exactly. Yeah, right. Either a fair or a big show. Carney. Or, or a carnival. Yeah, carny. Uh, with the roller coasters and stuff like that. But a festy, it sounds like something that's sort of going off on Festering. your skin. Yeah, yeah. But so, because you were quite tired, Pugsan, going into the weekend. So Massive, I was absolutely rooted. And you found some energy? Uh, yeah, I did it sober. It was a fun day. Right. Um, so, Saturday there. I was going to say, didn't you hammer some drugs to sort of, you know? Because you no. said you were going to. No, because you were saying I, you were going to. I joked get, about it, though. Yeah, I so, mean, I didn't do it. When you say sober, you're not counting pharmaceuticals. Because you were saying. Well, that's. Because you were saying your eyes were like UFOs, like saucers. I was just really excited and uh, sharing the love on the day. Yeah, well, by that's love. What I mean. By you, love, you mean. You said you got yeah, very love, handsy. Yeah. Well, the pills were heart shaped. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. You exactly. said you got very handsy and pashy. Why? With his sister. Uh, yeah. Jace, that's um, a bit far, mate. Well, Come no, on, man. because he was at a festy. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, right. You know what I mean? And that's what you do at festy. Quite, a- quite honestly, serious amount of people there that were very handsy because they were at. Like months. Yeah. This guy came up to me and talked to me for like five minutes with his arms around my neck, talking about how lovely I looked and <sighs> how kind I looked and how high he was. I love and then the showed love me his, all his rapper tattoos that he had all over his stomach. And I was like, that's super tight. So he's man. like, see this guy here, this is Ja Rule. I was MF Doom and oh, Biggie. Yeah, Did you boom. root him? Uh, well, I was with my sister, so I waited till after. Um, but there were heaps of backbones there, would you believe it? Oh, that's great. No, yeah. I, I mean, 
If there's one thing Backbones love, it's a festy. So were there people coming up to you being like, Pug San, yes. play the music? It was quite uncomfortable, but it was fun. It <laughs> yeah, was great, great. You know, in, in your hometown. Because and... I'm quite intimidated by festies. Um, Me too. And I know that, Jace, you're at, right at home at a festie. Uh, but, like, for example, we were down in Christchurch. I think it's called Hidden or Electric something. What's that? In Cri- Electric in, Ave? Electric Ave down in Christchurch. And, yeah. like, all of our friends were going and stuff. And then I was just, like, looked at the list of people playing. I didn't know any of these people, but everyone else was fizzed up. And I was like... I'd have to get to a special level of drunk where mm. I'm loving it regardless of not knowing yes. the music at all. Yeah. That's a special level of drunk that I don't like getting to, guys. Can I just say, by the way, fellas? I do like it. Actually. Australia's just hit two boundaries in a row and d- now I only need 23. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. The Hodaki Big Show, weekdays at four on Radio Hodaki. I was never big on festies. Were festies big back in the day? Because I feel like festies have really made like a surge in the last 15 years. Yeah, they were mm. quite big back in the day. Um, but, and one of the other things too, uh, you know, I've tried a lot of things in my life, but I've, I've never really done, you know, your ecstasies and all that sort of jazz. Okay. Um, I was speaking to my wife about this the other day and I said, did you ever, you know, do that to me? I actually, I probably shouldn't say this, but, you know, she is, when she was over in London working, um, you know, as... as uh, in a, in a restaurant mm. she said it was quite the go there I'm not saying she did it. it it's massive like the drug scene in London is out the gate compared to New Zealand New Zealand is very tame I, yes. I wouldn't know but if if my conclusions that I've drawn are correct it's it's ketamine all the rage uh, now oh really what's yeah. ketamine again isn't that horse, like horse tranquil yeah and what's it, ketamine's like a major painkiller isn't it Yes. Isn't ketamine? Because yeah. I remember my daughter getting it when she had a, a very serious operation on her leg and they gave her ketamine. Right on. Um, I've never had it, but quite seriously. That just, Is she a horse? Wouldn't that just smash you out? Yeah, it does. Yeah. What do you do on ketamine? You, you have some ketamine? You just live in the space. Yeah, man, you just um, vibe. From well, my, do from, you? Or you do, and, do you just froth at the mouth and get all festy? No, I did see a guy in a K-hole behind me at this festy, yeah. uh, and my sister pointed him out to me, and he literally was standing there. He was holding a water bottle up to his face, had a hat on, and his eyes were white from being rolled on the back of his head, and he was just standing still, and yeah. it was like drum and bass. He was just glitching out. I like so, that. Uh, and from what I've heard, like you can have oh, a bunch what of... what you've the, heard, what you No, like quite saying? honestly, mm. I've had a few things in my time. Not Ketamine's ketamine. not one of them. No. Uh, but I've heard that the way it makes you feel is somebody could walk in and chop your arm on, off, and you'd be like, And sweet. you wouldn't feel a thing, yeah. No, and you'd just be like, oh, sweet ass. Sounds hence, good. Hence why your daughter had it during a major operation. Yes. Yeah. Well, I, because I know also that they don't, you know, they don't give it to you in every operation. No. It was because she's done this quite a few times mm. where she gets put, da- put down. <laughs> put under. <laughs> she gets put under, but then will sit up again. Oh, shit. I remember when she got, because uh, she had grommets in her ears. Yeah. And they drug her up. <laughs> Keezy. Little kid Hoity got grommets in her ears, eh? Um, <laughs> and my wife and I were standing next to her and she'd been, you know, had the drugs and stuff, mm. which was weird now that I think about it, because why would we be there? And anyway, she sat bolt upright and my wife and I went, oh, fuck! <laughs> Because it gave us such a oh, shock. That'd be terrifying. Um, and she didn't sort of say anything and then lay back down again. And we said to the nurse, she just woke up. She just woke up. And they went, oh, yeah, some people do that. But she did the same thing with her leg operation. Apparently just went, bah, and sat up. Like the undertaker in wrestling, just I sitting up out of the coffin. And so, so I guess that's when they go, all right, let's get the ketamine out. Well, that's like, uh, I didn't realise this, but my wife was talking yesterday about when she got her wisdom tooth all out, all four of them. And she was down at the dentistry school in Dunedin because she was a student at the time. And it's just way cheaper because it's thousands of dollars otherwise. And that someone was doing a case study on painkillers. And when they put her under, they used a new mixture of stuff or whatever. And then afterwards, she had to write about how she felt. Oh. And because of that, she got a massive discount on the wisdom oh, teeth. Man. Um, but she, they sort of put her under with this stuff. And then she felt herself going under in that. And then five minutes later, she realized she still wasn't quite under yet. And they were just about to start. And she's like, there's no worse feeling than that. Yeah. And she just said, like, they were just getting everything ready, about to tuck in. And then she's like, How's the operation going? Because she was out of it as well. Holy and apparently shit. the dentist just like freaked out. <laughs> I'd be terrified. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So how's it all going? It's like when you're, you're getting a filling or something like that and they do all the injections in your mouth and then they start doing it and you're feeling really bad pain and you go, I think you haven't uh, given me enough. I don't think, I, I don't think it's a cold spot in there yet. 
I hate the dentist day. Yes. Because I don't know if you do this, Pugs, but there was a phase there in, all throughout my 20s where I just never went. Um, Yeah, I'm definitely in that so, phase. Oh, definitely take, in, the, in my 20s. You I've do ne- dental yeah. hygiene though, right? You look after it, you brush oh, it, all absolutely. that stuff. I've, I've never had a filling oh, really? or anything like that. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Um, I I've, had braces, but I've never had a filling. I've had... You had braces? <laughs> <laughs> Little kid pugs. <laughs> it's well, not it's too bra- late for you, Jace. <laughs> hey, you'll need them once I'm done with you. Hey. Yeah. But um, well, so you go to the dentist for the first time in your 20s. You haven't been for over a decade. Mm. And like, I remember I went when I was like 25 and I hadn't been since I was at school, like intermediate. And I was like, all right, here we go. I just got to get in there and get this done with it. And they were just like, you need this, this, this. You need to floss Shit. more. You need this. You need to go to the hygienist. They spent like an hour cleaning my teeth out. And now it's every six months. Yes. Just to and avoid it's still yeah, yeah, yeah. Just yeah. to avoid the overload. Yeah, because that first one, especially the first hygienist appointment where they're in there chiseling out all the gunk. Oof. Yes. They it's were then, painful. Uh, oh, God, it was full Yuck. on. Hey, I need to go wheeze. Oh, okay. Uh, we'll wrap things up. Thanks, Bug Son. By the way, Mike's hey, away today, everyone. Yes, he'll be back tomorrow. He's apparently. in Wellington. What do you mean, guys? Uh, I'm right here. I'm right here. It's hey. not looking good in the cricket, by the way. It's just not looking good. Has uh, Mando been on there? 20 to win. Who's Mando? Mando, these nuts taste good in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Sorry, Keezy, that was meant for Jace. Yes, yeah, I know. Sorry. That's Jumped why, the firing that's line why I shut down very quickly. Oh, Damn it. on you, Jace. You're on to You it. did not. Uh, by the way, listen to the Hodaki Big Show, 4 till 7 weekdays. Follow us on Instagram as well. It's really great. Hodaki Big Show. Also, Hoity J, Mr. Mike Minogue, Chris Key and Zed, and Call Me Pugs. Thanks, mate.